Hello everyone, this is Marianne from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you today, this evening, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. I do want to thank those um, who have donated to the channel, who have supported the channel through comments, subscriptions, likes, uh, the ways that you have done that um, are very much, uh, I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I want to again look at uh, the situation in Europe, the invasion of Ukraine, and then we'll move over to the US and look at their Supreme Court uh, and any other matters that we have time uh, time to deal with. Um, I am flagging that I will read on the upcoming French election. I'll zip over to the UK and take a look at uh, beleaguered Boris Johnson. And of course, uh, the Australian election is coming up as well. OK, but let's get started on uh, Ukraine. Ukraine, uh, the brave Ukrainians, the brave uh, Polish citizens that are helping, including going over to help Ukraine fight. The Belarusians, the is largely Belarus, despite uh, its uh, fascist leader is a nation of partisans and we should not ever uh, think that Belarus uh, supports the killing of their brothers and sisters in Ukraine. They have blown up, they have blown up transport routes so that Russia can't get supplies through to their troops. Again, Russian soldiers that just don't want to be in that war, uh, our hearts go out to, to those people and the protesters in Russia, uh, this is very much Putin's war. And it is not going very well for him. Meanwhile, Ukraine has been fighting now for a month, pushing uh, pushing Putin back. Uh, and of course, many of their cities have, um, you know, have been face mass destruction. Uh, so their their bravery is, um, yeah. But we wonder where, where and when it, this is going to end, how this is going to end. So meanwhile, the US President Joe Biden is in Europe at this time. There have been, has been another meeting of the UN General Assembly, please. It's not the, the Security Council. Russia is a member of the UN Security Council. Yes, they can veto, uh, veto motions. However, they cannot do anything against votes that are taken in the General Assembly. Again, the UN General Assembly has overwhelmingly condemned Russia's invasion and asked for civilian protection for um, and humanitarian aid. It is a non-binding resolution, although in the history of the UN, uh, articles have been voted on which have sent in uh, peacekeeping forces through the General Assembly. OK, so let's see. How, where, how much the UN can do about this. Uh, the NATO has come out um, and, uh, the, and announced they're moving more troops to the, their eastern borders. Um, and this is all a deterrent. I intuitively feel that the more that they can stand up to Putin, the more, uh, I guess, has twofold purpose. Um, it increases the chance of those around Putin uh, from going against him uh, but Putin himself uh, before I, when I opened up to this reading I got an image that you know I mean Russia's known as is China for espionage for spy I feel he's listening in to some conversations um, that's the image that I got uh, so even though some are saying he's not very well informed he is well informed um, and, uh, and he will make his decisions based on the information he gets. So the more that there's troop movements, the more he thinks that, the, that he can't win this. He may, he may look for an off-ramp. So that's the hope here. I'm not a harbing, harbinger of harbinger, harbinger, harbinger of doom and gloom. Uh, and I never will be. And I'll never deliver information that is premeditated, you know, because, and this is what I want to say, I did look at this last night, I did look at nuclear threats, I did look at chemical threats, but 
I uh, slept on it and I want to take another look today because nothing is set in stone. If you watch me and any other astrologer or psychic, nothing, no prediction is set in stone. Things can change dramatically. And I read a story this morning about a tram driver who had a dream that his tram crashed into a red truck there were uh, injured people within that truck. He saw it all very vividly. The next day he got, he was driving his tram, he got to an intersection and he braked strongly at that intersection because he, the dream that he'd had last night was triggered. Uh, that braking action prevented the truck the tram and the truck from colliding and yes he saw into the truck they didn't collide and he saw into the truck and saw the same two or three people that would have been injured had that accident occurred so i want you i want to bear I want you to bear that in mind as hopeless as you feel it is it is not it is not there is destiny at play and things can change all right they're not set in stone Okay, so let's get started. Um, I don't feel uh, the readings that I've done to date that there will be a nuclear a nuclear um, attack launched. I'm less sure about a chemical attack, uh, so I want to check that again. Uh, I do want to flag with you that I am picking up a cyber attack on our financial institutions by Russia which may take things down temporarily. I don't know how far away we're uh, uh, away from that we are. Uh, but again, nothing is set in stone. These are just the intuitive vibes that I'm picking up. All right, let's do some overarching energies, please. And I do still feel there will be a deal struck between Russia and, and Ukraine. Which, which will end this and I do still feel Putin will be assassinated again when I don't know okay let's see what the overarching energies please are for uh, this time these times that we are living in and the messages that spirit would like to deliver to us Okay, solitariness, that's interesting, desert. I think we are all doing um, reflection. I think that some of our reactions or actions that we may have taken before, we could be surprised that we are actually pausing. I think a lot of us are pausing and allowing things to flow before we step forward. Uh, there is a lot of deep thinking that is occurring at the moment, whatever your situation is. Again, I want to say, keep your prayers up for Ukraine. Be ever vigilant. Um, however you're praying, traditional prayers, um, mantras, visualizations, it is making a difference. I read a story where the Ukrainian soldiers said that they feel, they feel the support of the world. Russia is very isolated, very isolated at this time. The moon, number seven, darkness. The moon, darkness. We are waiting in a way. We are waiting for this to be over. However, what is happening is even astrologically, there are, there, there are so many things that are emerging to the surface. Maybe that's why we're having that reflection. We are thinking very deeply on very grave global matters. What, what do we need to do to stop this from occurring in the future? How effective are our, our, are our global peacekeeping institutions? Um, you know, as, you, as you're aware, Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons in return for a commitment, not a contract, a memorandum of understanding, which was a moral commitment, if nothing else, that its sovereignty would be preserved. So Ukraine was neutral uh, before all this, um, before the invasion. Uh, it wasn't a part of the EU, though it's in Europe, uh, and it's not a part of NATO. 
despite the ever-present threat of an invasion, which, of course, became more than a threat. Wild wildness, electricity. Mm, okay, so number 36. This is, this is different energies coming through. We are in a period of change. The more... The more light you can generate, the more um, thoughtful you can be about any situation in, in your life. Um, I think we can all be of help to Ukraine. And we get light. The sun, absolutely light. Generate the light. This is around frequencies. This is around your prayers your visualizations uh, i urge you again darkness darkness and generating the light is very real very very real and we do it from a place very deep within us For those astrologers, Mercury's placement is particularly interesting. I think over the weekend it might sextile Pluto. In other words, we're actually seeing what is coming to the surface. Yeah, Mercury is sextiling Pluto. So the way Pluto operates, it is the destroyer, the death, rebirth, the transformation, things coming up from the underworld so that we can see and take appropriate uh, action uh, Mercury being thoughts, communications, um, it matters. It matters what we are thinking about this invasion, which is why I say there are no, no two sides to genocide. <laughs> okay, let's get started on the readings. I'm just going to pull a few cards again just to check on the nuclear threat. Of course, you know Ukraine has been given weaponry not weaponry. Yes, it has been given more missiles, stellar missiles by Germany. That was announced, I think, yesterday. But the US is also sending more money and protective protective uh, equipment gear against, should a chemical or a nuclear attack be come to fruition. It's also warned Russia that if it does use chemical weapons, there will be a high price to pay. Hasn't been specific about what action it might take. All right, let's take a look. Is Putin stupid enough? His own spokesperson came out and said they would launch nuclear missiles if there was an existential threat to Russia. I keep also getting that Putin has left Russia unguarded to in many ways. Uh, and... You know, it may only be a, a a period of time before Ukraine may launch attacks into Russia I, 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 or somebody else. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Will Putin use nuclear missiles? Okay, so we've got the hanged man. So it indicates a suspension, a pausing... Uh, you know, I, I thought that he may be armed and ready, but hadn't made that decision yet. We've got the three of pentacles crossing the hanged man. And this is the unity here and the sanctions starting to bite. Um, he would risk destroying Russia as well. The other uh, question remains that some of nuclear radiation may blow back on to Russian people. Um Six of Swords. So we've got the foundation of the reading is moving out of troubled waters. I like it when these positive cards come forward. However, this is also displacement of the population. I felt yesterday when I was looking at this that uh, that that intelligence may warn of a chemical attack and we might get population a people moved out of a particular area six of cups the past very much putin's mind and thinking is rooted in the past and the king of wands in the sky of course we have bravery and courage here so we've got the three of swords heartbreak and betrayal there are no good endings here given the war has been going on for a month now many have died 
We've got the Ace of Pentacles in the here and now. He is, I think he's he's looking for financial support. Two aces, the environment around. Okay, so this is very much here an overarching energy. This is going to, I said from the beginning in February, this would remake remake uh, our world in many ways. Ten of Wands, uh, hopes and fears like... Mm. is he in a position to do this now we have the empress card abundance um that is my card for mother russia and we also have the tower so this is the bombing i feel i don't feel it's nuclear but i also feel so we've got spirit here light coming through the hierophant the government the world structures i feel this tower is more for russia but I do still get the that Eight of Wands. If you've been looking at my readings, this is Air Attacks. Again, he's on that high wire act. He's running out of money. And he is quite insecure about that. That if his own people do not have... You know, he starts to get that real economic downturn, which is already happening in Russia, that... There will be, uh, there will be a backlash for him. I look, he's just not. I don't feel he's made that decision. So at this stage, I feel the damage. Uh, yes, he's he's causing tremendous damage to Russia in this, as well as reducing Ukraine to. As he's trying to destroy, leave Ukraine with nothing. That's his goal now. But it is going to backfire on him. Let's. That's why Zelensky wants air support, so he can counteract this. I'm going to see the Empress card. This is Venus, Venus and Mars. Had we not had Venus in the picture with conjunct with Mars, he may well have done launched a nuclear weapon. Let's get clarification on the Empress, please. Okay, so we've got the Six of Pentacles again, like he's just, the, the money, it's the sanctions are really starting to bite. He's running out of money. Hmm. And the Knight of Swords, he can't, the, the reports that you hear around his own army uh, going hungry, begging for food, um, it, they're true. He's he's running out of money. He's probably calling, trying to call in some loans as well, uh, obviously from China. But we have at the base of the pack temperance and moderation. And we've got the world card and support here. So I'm still, we are moving through this energy here. So his abundance, the harvest, what he hoped for, mm. It's uh, it's not, it's not obviously not working the way he thought. But we've got the hierophant turning up here, showing that this unity, the global, uh, the global institutions that have come together, the deterrence, the th you know the counter threats, the standing up to him, Ukraine's in uh, tenacity, and also the unity of those Baltic, is it Slavic states. Poland, um, Belarus, even the people, not the government, but people of Belarus. This is all, this is all making a huge difference that the mighty Russian army has been so thwarted by the people, by the people, by the partisans. Molotov cocktails. Mm. All right, let's see again. So no, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing more damage is being inflicted on Russia, but they are, uh, they are trying to destroy Ukraine. That might be his overarching objective, destroy it, weaken it, and then bring it to the table. Okay, so let's see uh, chemical. Will he use chemical weaponry? Queen of Pentacles, that's stability. Uh, and we have the Four of Cups. 
So there's disappointment here. There's one cup remaining. Justice is in the foundation. See, these cards aren't going his way. Uh, the two of swords having to uh, having to make a decision. Of course, justice being the international court. Uh, the two of cups, there's no good way out of this if he uses chemical weaponry. We've got the two of cups in the sky partnering with someone. He's looking for... The King of Swords in the immediate future, that's him. A plan, a strategy, the Wheel of Fortune in the here and now, and the Tower. His luck is just not there. I, I, I don't even see this. Three of Cups, Hopes and Fears. He's isolated, but we have the Death card. When it could be an ending, could be a deal, bring something to an end, or it could be what I've always seen is that peacekeeping forces move into Ukraine. Is this after a chemical attack? Five of Pentacles, loss, um, displacement, the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment and strength. His strength is very much eroded. Again, I see a possibility of something like this, but I think that's what would send in peacekeeping forces. Okay, so um, he's not, his strength is receding. Can he find an off-ramp? Off Can Putin find an off-ramp? Will he find an off-ramp? Will the deal be done with Ukraine? Will a peace deal? Be done with Ukraine. Okay, Six of Swords moving out of troubled waters, moderation. Uh, at the base of the pack, victory and working with others to achieve that victory. Can Putin? They are yes cards. Will there be a peace deal? Things want to come out. Not right now. He needs to. He hasn't made that decision. King of Cups, okay, so what America does is of great, I mean, in many ways, this is a war, this is a cold war between the US and, and America, and we've got, uh, yeah, some of this could be, some of the deal could be to reduce American influence in Ukraine, um, but we've also got what he's done to families and homes. His attack hasn't panned out the way that he wanted it to. So, Six of Swords, I'll get a clarifier card there. Can a peace deal be made? I'm feeling yes, it can. Could even There could even be a moderator. The Hermit card, again, these are bad cards. Ukrainians standing up. The isolation of Russia, the sanctions biding. I'm going to say a Page of Cups could surprise us and uh, the deal could surprise us but I, I I don't know if something else happens before we get to that peace deal um, I hope not now again I want to say nothing that I say is predestined let's move on to Clarence Thomas again uh, I do want to pull cards on him I do want to say that I feel Judge Jackson Brown will be confirmed. I think the leader of the GOP in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, has said he's not voting. We've seen some atrocious behaviour from the GOP, Republican Party in the US, towards Ju Judge Jackson Brown. I shed a tear during Senator Cory uh, Booker's speech to her. Um, uh, the racism was really on display. Um, this was also payback for what they feel was um, unfair treatment of Kavanaugh. But let's face it, Kavanaugh's past was responsible for that. Judge Jackson Brown has been exemplary. She will be confirmed. There may be a republic, one Republican, or possibly more um, one Republican that votes for her that goes out on a limb and votes for her or more. But yes, she will be confirmed, not by a large majority, but 
nevertheless confirmed. Okay, on to Clarence Thomas. I feel he will step down. His wife, Ginny Thomas, there has been texts that show she urged the White House to keep going with its unrelenting, unrelenting e effort to overturn the 2020 election. He has mysteriously been admitted to hospital. I don't feel he's going to pass. I feel he's going to resign. And some of this will be because of um, his wife's involvement in that unrelenting attempt to overturn, to overturn a fair and democratic election. Okay, let's see. Well, I feel... I have felt, and I read on this weeks and weeks ago, Biden will get two Supreme Court picks before 2024. Okay, so we've got five of cups. There's a lot of regret there behind the scenes. Um, regret about past actions. Clarence Thomas, will he resign from the Supreme Court? The Emperor and Control. That's Aries Energy. And we've got the Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. If you see this as the archetype of Thomas, there looks like there's going to be an end here for him. Uh, the Chariot's going to come quick, more quickly than what we think. So this reading's very consistent to with my previous readings. The Eight of Swords, uh, he has been worried about this information coming out. It's a restriction here, and yet he didn't recuse himself. There's a lot of email evidence there, the Eight of Wands, um, and the Wheel of Fortune in the immediate future. So change, Jupiter, Jupiter energy, Three of Cups, Three of Cups. So this can mean a third party. Who is the third party? His wife and review review uh, of his ethical position i'm not seeing the death card but i am seeing a resignation still hopes and fears of the voter if he stays confidence will be lost in the highest court there's information still to come out about thomas and his wife and connection with the white house they are holding back she, there's money. Uh, I don't know if she's independently wealthy, but it's something to do with the way that she donated to the insurrection, what ended up to be an insurrection, and he's walking a tightrope. Yeah, Queen of Swords. There could even be an investigation here announced into into whether or not he should stay on the, on the Supreme Court. Okay, his feeling, yeah, his position isn't strong. Nine of Wands needing to be guardrails there. The Supreme Court justices do not have an ethical, mandatory ethical standard that is applied to them. They're supposed to do that themselves. He's got a decision to make. Show me this two of pentacles. Show me this two of pentacles. The Empress card and the Sword of Truth. There's an abundant truth going to emerge, and I feel about what? About the election still, and people are going to see this as a manipulation of his position. Um, yeah, I, I'm just feeling that, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, there she is. There's some financial connection, whether we know about it or not, between his wife and those various um i know she funded buses but there's something more there that is still to come out and i do feel he will stand down as a result i'm not getting the death card i am getting that this is the end of his term on scotus it's just a question of time with the chariot card there he may get out before the further information comes out i could be wrong we always have free will nothing is set in stone but i hope i'm right on this he doesn't deserve to be there all right this reading is for entertainment purposes only have a great weekend everybody